If we look at a city or a city district, roughly we can make a subdivision into buildings, overground infrastructures, often for transportation, and so-called technical infrastructure. The technical infrastructure is the focus of this video's theme, which will be addressed the coming weeks for each of the challenges that define each week's content. As you see, the technical infrastructure includes many different fields. For this introduction to the theme of urban services and infrastructure, we will stick to the three main flows related to the physical or technical infrastructure, which are energy, water and waste. The energy infrastructure in general is subdivided into electricity, gas, direct energy carriers like liquid fuels and indirect energy carriers like hot water or in some cases cold water for cooling. The water-related infrastructure concerns supply-related water flows like drinking water and secondary water, but also wastewater. Waste and wastewater are often referred at as the sanitation infrastructure, as they are literally connected to the healthy living environment. Wastewater is subdivided often according to different qualities or separated wastewater streams. It can be grey water, which concerns all wastewater except toilet wastewater, black water, which is the toilet wastewater, while yellow and brown water concern separated urine and faces flows. But here also hot water and surface water flows are included as part of the water infrastructure. The third group, waste infrastructure, includes different solid waste fractions, often subdivided into organic and inorganic waste flows but also into mixed or grey waste and residential versus industrial waste. One of the challenges of metropolitan areas nowadays is that these different technical infrastructures are often interrelated or even connected with one another. Also, due to the, bef the before explained subdivision for different qualities of energy, water and waste flows, this infrastructure gets more complex near to users and their connections. This makes that it becomes more important by the day to be aware of these interrelations. José Ortega y Gasset stated that for that reason, to be an engineer is not enough to be an engineer. Within this context of further complexity come new dimensions due to data and ICT. Ecologist Eugene Odom once subdivided our environment into four layers. The bottom is the abiotical layer, biotical layer, the technical layer and the physical layer on top. Buildings and infrastructures are part of the third and technical layer. Due to ICT, this layered setup is not anymore, by definition, location fixed or vertically aligned as shows Benjamin Bratton's subdivision of ICT-related infrastructures within this technical layer, which he calls the stack. This stack implies that nowadays it is no longer a strict rule that a person is literally connected by an infrastructure to his or her direct neighbour. These developments regarding urban services and infrastructures support the shift from a focus for the masses and supply of fundamental services towards new forms of personalized supply, integrated and smart, often multi-layered and potentially regenerative systems. Such opportunities for metropolitan solutions at different scales and regarding different infrastructures or combinations of them, like here the example of a solar bike road in the Netherlands, will be subject of the coming weeks regarding this theme.